Hello everyone and welcome back to Brackets Academy. In this video, we'll take a look at the Capacitor Browser API. This allows us to open an in-app browser within the borders of our application when we want to show external web content. So let's just jump into it and take a look how to use this API. Here I have a project already set up to work with Capacitor and Ionic and I have already generated the browser page. Check the link in the description to help you set up Ionic and Capacitor if you haven't already. In the browser page.html, let's create a button and onclick event we'll call the open page method. Now let's jump into browser.page.ts. Here we'll import plugins from Capacitor Core, create a constant browser equals plugins, and in the constructor we'll set up a few listeners. Browser page loaded listener, this will fire when the page fully loads in the in-app browser. Browser finished, this will fire when we exit the in-app browser. And let's add a prefetch, which takes an array of URLs, and this will hint to the browser that the given URLs will be associated to improve the initial loading times. And then let's create the open page method and call browser.open and pass in the URL and the toolbar color. This will give the browser toolbar yellowish color. Now let's build and run our project in an emulator. First run npm run build, then we can run npx cap copy and then npx cap open iOS. Now let's run the application in the emulator, navigate to the browser's page and click the button. And as we expected, it opened the URL in the in-app browser we got the log that the page finished loading and now when we press done we will be redirected back to our application and of course we get the browser finished log since it fired when we exited the in-app browser. That's it guys, this was a quick overview of the Capacitor Browser API. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.